Adobe Animate 2021 Adobe Animate is a multimedia graphics software developed by Adobe Systems. It was formerly known as Adobe Flash Professional and most of the workings and features of Adobe Animate are similar to Adobe Flash Professional. It ensures retaining the qualities of objects regardless of any size these may be scaled to. Animate is used to create vector graphics, games, cartoons, text, graphics. Create special animation effects. Create interactive web pages and websites. Work with symbols and instances. Draw, erase and add objects. Starting Adobe Anime 2021. Follow the given steps to open Adobe Animate. First, type Adobe Animate in the search box. Second, double click on Adobe Animate 2021. Creating a document in Adobe Animate. Follow the given steps for creating a document. First, click on the file menu. Second, select new from the options. Third, Type the desired dimensions and frame rate. Fourth, select the desired platform type. We have selected ActionScript 3.0 in the given example. Fifth, click on Create button. Components of Adobe Animate window. Let us learn the components of the Adobe Animate window. Menu bar. It gives you access to all the commands available in Adobe Animate. File name tab. It shows the name of the current file. It also allows us to switch between files if more than one files are open. Tools panel. It allows us to use different tools to create and modify text and graphics. Current scene. It shows the name of the scene on which we are currently working. Stage. It is the rectangular area where graphics, text and video clips are drawn or placed an animation is created. The stage size in Animate is 550 into 400 pixels. Work area. It refers to the light grey area around the stage. We can place objects here until we want them to appear on the stage. Properties tab. It gives us the options to view and edit the properties of the current object. Library tab. It is used to organize and select symbols to add to our movie. Workspace menu. It allows us to switch between workspaces and also create new ones. Timeline panel. It organizes and controls a document's content in layers and frames. Like films, animate documents divide time lengths into frames. The timings of animations are adjusted in the timeline panel. Thus, it helps in setting the sequence of a movie or animation. Following are the components of Timeline Panel. Layers. They are used to organize the artwork. Each layer contains different objects that appear on the stage. Objects can be drawn and edited on one layer without affecting the other. Add or remove layer buttons. They are used for adding and deleting layers. Frames. These are small rectangles that help us to control what appears in animation sequences. Frame Indicator It displays the frame number, current frame rate and the time that has elapsed. Frame Number It is the number that appears in chronological order in the timeline. Each frame has a frame number. Timeline Buttons These buttons consist of various functions like play, stop, Start, End, Loop, On or Off and Onion Skin. Onion Skin is used for controlling frames, layers and movies. Tools Panel Adobe Animate has many drawing tools in the Tools Panel. These tools are used to create illustrations, buttons and user interfaces. Following are the different types of tools. Selection Tool It is used to select objects and also move them. Subselection tool. It is used to select partial objects. Lasso tool. It is used to select irregular shaped pieces of an object. Fluid brush tool. It works like the brush tool except it doesn't smoothen the lines like the classic brush tool. 
classic brush tool. It draws and paints brush like strokes. It lets you create special effects. Eraser tool. It erases the area over which we drag the eraser tool. Rectangle tool. It helps to draw rectangles and squares. Line tool. It is used to draw straight lines. Pen tool. It allows you to draw lines and shapes in free form. Text tool. It allows us to add text to our drawings. Paint bucket tool. It allows us to fill an enclosed area with colors. Eyedropper tool. It works with the paint bucket tool. It allows us to click on anything to select its color. Once the color is selected, the paint bucket tool appears and lets us fill a different object with the picked color. Asset Wrap Tool It lets us manipulate characters during the animation process. Hand Tool It allows us to drag the stage around and see the parts that are not visible. Zoom Tool It allows us to zoom in and out of our scene, creating graphics and shapes. Let us learn how to create different graphics and shapes using different kinds of tools. Line Tool Line tool is used to draw straight lines. To draw a straight line, follow the given steps. First, select the line tool. Second, select stroke color, style, width and scale in the properties inspector. Third, position the mouse pointer on the stage area until the mouse pointer changes to plus. Fourth, click and drag to draw a line of the desired length and release the mouse button. Pen tool. Pen tool is used to draw curved lines as well as straight lines. To draw a curved line, follow the given steps. First, click on the pen tool. Second, click on the stage area from where the curve has to begin. An anchor point is created. Third, position the mouse pointer and drag to set the slope of the curve. Now release the mouse button. If you want to continue drawing curves, repeat steps 2 and 3. Rectangle Tool Using the rectangle tool, we can draw rectangles and squares. To draw a rectangle or square, follow the given steps. First, select the rectangle tool. Second, set the fill and stroke attributes. Third, click on the stage area and drag to draw a rectangle. To keep the shape to a perfect rectangle, hold down the shift key before releasing the mouse button. Polystar tool Polystar tool is used to draw polygonal shapes and stars. To draw polygon shape, follow the given steps. First, click on the rectangle tool. Second, select the polystar tool. Third, set the line color, fill color and line width options. Fourth, click and drag on the stage area to draw the shapes. You can also choose the number of sides of the polygon or the number of points on the star under the tool option. Brush tool To use the brush tool, follow the given steps. First, click on the brush tool. Second, click on the brush shape. Third, choose a brush shape you want. Fourth, set the brush size. Fifth, click and drag to draw the desired shape. Filling colors in a shape. To fill colors in a shape, follow the given steps. First, click on the paint bucket tool. Second, click on the fill color button. Third, select the desired color. Fourth, click inside the shape to fill color. You can also click on the fill color button in the properties inspector and select the color to fill in the shape. Erasing part of a drawing To erase a part of drawing, follow the given steps. First, click on the eraser tool. Second, click on the eraser options. Third, select the desired shape of eraser. Fourth, click and drag the eraser over the areas you want to remove. Saving or opening an Adobe Animate file To save an Animate file, follow the given steps. First, click on the File menu. Second, click on the Save option. Third, choose the location where you wish to save the file. 
Fourth, in the file name box, type the file name. Fifth, click on Save button. The default extension for an animate file is .fla. To open a saved animate file, follow the given steps. First, click on the file menu. Second, click on the open option. Third, navigate to the folder where the file is saved. Fourth, select the file. Fifth, click on open button. Closing an animate file. To close an animate file, click on file menu, click on close option. Animate prompts you to save the file if you haven't already saved it. Adding text to a drawing. Adobe Animate provides two options to add text to a drawing. They are label text and block text. When text is added to label text, the text does not wrap. The width of the text box keeps expanding. When text is added to block text, we specify a width and while typing the text, if it reaches the end of the block, it wraps to start a new line and increases the depth of the box. To add label text or block text, follow the given steps. First, click on the text tool. Second, position the mouse pointer and click on it. Third, type the desired text. A circle in the upper right corner of the text indicates that it is a label text. Formatting text Adobe Animate allows us to format the enter text by changing the font, color, size, etc. under the Properties Inspector. To format the text, follow these steps. First, select the text. Second, select the font face. Third, select the font size. Fourth, select the fill option. Fifth, select the color. Sixth, select spacing. Converting text into a shape. Animate allows us to convert the text into graphics by using the break apart command. Text can be converted into shapes in two parts. In the first part, the text is split into editable single character blocks after the break apart command is applied to the selected text. In the second part, the text turns into filled shapes that cannot be edited with the text tool. To convert the text into a shape, follow the given steps. First, select the text to be converted and click on the Modify tab. Second, click on the Break Apart command. The text is converted into graphics as shown above. Selecting an object. Whenever we want to change the properties of an object, we must first select it. We can select an object by using the Selection Tool or Lasso Tool. Selection Tool The Selection Tool allows us to select an object in a rectangular selection marquee by clicking and dragging over the object. To select an object, follow the given steps. First, click on Selection Tool. Second, place the mouse pointer and drag over the object you want to select. Lasso tool The lasso tool allows us to select irregular objects by drawing a freehand loop. To select irregular objects, follow the given steps. First, click on lasso tool. Second, drag the mouse pointer around the objects to be selected to form a loop. Resizing and rotating an object the free transformation tool is used to resize and rotate an object. To resize an object, follow the given steps. First, select the object and click on the free transformation tool. Second, resize an object using the resize handles. To rotate the object, follow the given steps. First, select the object and click on the free transformation tool. Second, Move the mouse pointer just outside the corner of the object. The mouse pointer changes to Third, click and drag to rotate. Grouping objects Objects can also be grouped together to combine different shapes into one. To group the shapes, follow the given steps. First, select all the shapes one by one. Second, click on the modify menu. 
Third, select the Group option. You can also ungroup the objects by selecting the Ungroup option under the Modify menu. Importing an image To import an image, follow the given steps. First, click on the File menu. Second, go to the Import option. Third, select the Import to Stage option. Fourth, navigate the location and select the image. Fifth, click on the Open button.